What's up guys, this is Puka bringing you some new footage from the brand new Pokemon TCG Online. This is going to be about how to redeem codes and open up your packs. So first thing you got to do, go ahead and go to the shop. It's a little shopping bag icon. You got to click on that. Click on redeem codes. And then what you have to do is enter the codes in that little box that says enter codes manually. Now you can either type in the letters and numbers on your uh, little code card that you got. Or in my case, I just kind of typed them out into a, uh, a document and then copy and paste them over. So what you got to do, enter them, hit continue, and then when it gets approved, you have to click on it and click claim now. And when you do that, it tells you congratulations, you have a booster pack. Now, this can get a little tedious when you start to put in multiple ones. Like, you can see, why can't I just claim all of them at once? Well... Unfortunately, you have to do them individually. You have to click on the box, and then you click Claim Now. So you can imagine, once you get a bunch of these packs, it gets really time-consuming. Unfortunately, there's just no better way to do it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just enter codes. I'm going to copy and paste from my uh, text document. Hit Continue. Claim Now. You know... I sat here for probably 20 minutes before entering in 100 codes, and it really, really is tedious, and it's unfortunate. Hopefully they improve that soon, but right now this is what you have to do, unless there is an app, if you have an Android phone, you can download it as created by Michael Kendall, uh, where it uses the camera on your phone to scan all the codes, and you can actually redeem them from your phone. So, if you have an Android phone, search for it. Uh, the app, it's just Code Scanner, I think, PTCGO, Code Scanner, something like that. Just search for it, you'll find it. It's free, much simpler than this. I'm hoping that this improves eventually, but for now, all you can do is enter them in one by one, and then you have to click on them individually and then claim them now. So, once you're done with that, we can continue and go to the shop and redeem the codes for the booster packs that you want. Alright, so when you're done with that, you just go back to the shop home. You can either click on that shopping bag icon again, or click on the button that says shop home, and you can go ahead and redeem, redeem your booster credits. Now if you see in the top right, there's a little pack symbol next to the gem thing and the key that says 10. So I have 10 booster credits right now. So here all the sets are laid out for you. You can go ahead and choose. Do I want Dragons Exalted, Dark Explorers, Next Destinies, etc, etc. One pack costs one booster code, so you just kind of decide which ones you want. Now, for most people, you're probably not going to want to get anything before Black and White. Call of Legends through Heart Gold, Soul Silver, backwards, those are not legal anymore. But, as you can see here, I just hit the quantity up to five, got some uh, Dark Explorers packs, and some Dragons Exalted packs. So after you do that, you just click on the little card symbol up there, it takes you over to this section where you can open your packs. So, I'm just gonna take you through what it's like opening packs. You can see all your cards are laid out. If you right click on one of the cards, it blows it up and enlarges it so you can take a look at all the cards. So here we can see a fairly standard pack. You know, I got an Electros and we're just gonna kinda go through all the cards. One of the weird things about this is that the flavor text kind of exits the box where it's supposed to be wasn't designed perfectly hopefully that gets fixed as well looks a little weird but yeah we're just gonna go through open some packs see if we get any good stuff and open this one and I'm just gonna blow it. oh a dark cry EX so these are actually really difficult to get the EX's are really random when you try to pull them out of packs unfortunately the trading system is not up right now but you can still try to open packs test your luck and in this situation, I was very lucky to get a Darkrai EX. It's obviously one of the best cards in the format. Did very well at this previous year's World Championships. It's not going to go away anytime soon. And I am very happy to finally have one. <laughs> so we're just going to take a look at the rest of the cards. You can see the artwork is all beautiful. The cards are all scanned perfectly. The only thing that's weird is the flavor text. For some reason, that did not translate over very well. But let's take a look at the rest of the packs. We got a Galvantula. One of those cards where you open up your pack and you're like, uh, why did they make this a rare? It's not playable. It's not cool. 
It's just a Galvantula. At least on the bright side, we got some cool cards. We got an N. Vanillite's always happy. Cheers you up. Bunch of Tynamos. Eevee's winking at you. And we also get a Joltek to go with the Galvantula. That will never be played. But let's keep looking through the packs, see what other cool cards we can get. A Haxorus, that's pretty cool. Not a, a great card, but at least it looks kind of neat. Another Joltik. Really want me to play that Galvantula deck. A Dark Claw Girder. Hooligans, Jim, and Cass. You don't want to run into them in a dark alley. Uh, Larvesta, Piplup, Eevee, Lillipup, Tynamo. So again, this is probably an average pack. I think the Haxorus was a hollow, but um, obviously not a great card. Not a card that you want. But hey, look at that. There's a Raikou EX. Really cool card as well. It's featured, well, it kind of burst onto the scene at U.S. Nationals this year in Kevin Nance's Electric deck. And ever since then, people were like, oh, duh, that card's really good. So I'm glad to have one of those as well. And we'll just take a look at the rest of the cards. So there are some Dark Explorers cards for you to look at. We got Slowbro, Torkoal. We have Plusle, who is also winking at you. A lot of Pokemon are very friendly. They like to wink. Even Shelmet likes to kiss, apparently. Uh, we also have Ducklet winking at you. Torchic. And Chansey. So that'll give you a look at some Dark Explorers cards. Let's jump into the brand new set, Dragons Exalted. Crossing my fingers, hoping to pull an EX from these packs, but the first one is a Marowak. Another one of those cards where you're like, oh man, why did that have to be the rare? I might as well have not had a pack at all. But we did get a Cubone to go with it, and a nice shiny Garchomp. Reverse Hollow. It's not the good Garchomp, but still looks cool, I guess. We have a Devolution Spray which is almost a reprint of the original one from base set. I believe that one discarded the evolution though. Could be wrong. Got a Roselia also winking at you. A Drifloon in front of the Team Plasma symbol. Hmm. Wonder why that is. And a Vulpix. And Electric. And Cubone again, just because Cubone is that cool. Looking through, we got a Bravery. I just want to take a second to acknowledge the Bravery's flavor text. They fight for their friends without any thought about danger to themselves. One can carry a car while flying. Not sure why you would want to fly away with a car, but hey, Bravery can do it. So we have a Roserade who is also winking at you. <laughs> a Gotharita. Maractus. An Aaron who is eating a girder or something like that. Not the Pokemon girder, but an actual metal thing. And we have a Magikarp, which a Magikarp living for many years can leap a mountain using Splash. The move remains useless, though. So Magikarp has developed the ability to leap over an entire mountain, but it still can't do damage. I guess that's why it learned Bounce in the video game now. I believe it can actually learn an attack that does damage, but Splash, even though you can Splash all the way over a mountain you would think you'd be able to like land something land on something then and then hurt them but no apparently the attack is still useless so we got a Dino as well one of the cool new dragon type Pokemon and we're gonna move on to the next pack we have a Manectric not a very good card unfortunately energy crush could be useful at some point but you know with Mewtwo EX around, uh, why wouldn't you just go ahead and X-Ball when you could, uh, you know, you could always Energy Crush, I guess. Blend Energy, one of the coolest new energy types. Buffalant, one of my favorite Pokemon. It's got a really sweet looking afro. Got, uh, some gold rings on the horns. Not sure what that's all about, but it's, uh, used for Gold Breaker, apparently. Not a bad card. We have a Roselia, a Ninjask which has a Shedinja in the background, kinda cool. Yanma, uh, who is apparently just chilling in front of the Taj Mahal or something. I don't know if they appreciate that. We got a Bidoof. Everybody's favorite Pokemon, Bidoof. It's just kinda the goofy... I don't even know how to describe it. 
How can you not love it, though? You have a ball toy who's saying, Sup, son? Shrugging his shoulders at you. Another Dino and another Electrike. So, so far, not the greatest cards. But you know that can happen. Like I said, the pack pulls are really random. You don't really get anything set. I've pulled, I've opened like 30 packs in a row and then never gotten an EX. And then I just opened 5 packs earlier and hey, I pulled 2 EXs. So, it's very random. It's not like set in by a box. Like in a box normally you would pull like 2 or 3 EXs and a shiny or something like that. Well, on this, if you open 36 packs, you're really not guaranteed anything. You could pull no EXs. You could pull 36 EXs. It's not too likely, but hey, either of those can happen because it just goes pack by pack, it's random. So just giving you a look at some new cards from Dragons Exalted. A lot of the artwork is cool. I like the Golet a lot. Got a couple Gibbles and a nose pass. So just a couple more packs here and then we'll wrap this up. Uh, I believe this is the last one actually. And let's hope we get something good. And a dust ox. <laughs> Not the greatest thing in the world. But hey, uh, these packs were actually donated to me by a player that was watching the stream. I really appreciate it. I believe his name was Basti from Germany. So I really have to say thank you to him for giving me these packs. He wanted me to open them on video. I was actually streaming when this happened. So if you ever want to see me stream Pokemon TCG Online, check out our uh, Twitch TV page, which is twitch.tv slash thetopcut, where I will be streaming live Pokemon TCG Online, some games, and some other stuff, and I always provide commentary and stuff. So that's going to wrap this up. Hopefully you learned a little bit of something about how to use the program, uh, just how to redeem your codes, open the packs, and then all that goes into your collection. So that will wrap this one up. I've been Puka. Hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll have some more videos soon. Take care, guys.